Oh, we just flipped over. What? We just flipped over. I have never, ever had something like that happen on a race before, guys. Especially with a supercar. I didn't even do anything like dramatic and I just flipped over. What? That is not good, guys. That is not good for the supercar at all. Whoa, guys, that was amazing. But what's more amazing, guys, is that we finally hit 250,000 subscribers. Now, I have a new challenge for you. Our brand new goal is 500,000 subscribers. So before this video gets started, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and don't forget to click that post notification bell for more videos and live streams. Now I gotta go guys, I'm late for my race, I'll see you in the video! Guys, we got one new limited car and the limited UGC back in CD10. Today, we're gonna look at it and see if it's worth buying. Before we get started with this video guys, be sure to smash that thumbs up button, subscribe if you guys haven't, and don't forget to click that post notification bell. And you guys can see that the Halloween event is over, but we still have the race in here guys. So it seems like we're gonna be, be able to race for a little bit until it's gone forever. So if you guys haven't tried it, go ahead and give it a try. I think it's gonna be gone here in the next couple of weeks. Now, nah, let's Let's get this video started. All right, you guys. You guys can see we got ooh, we got the Aston Martin wrap for it for completing the UGC. Oh my gosh! I didn't know we were gonna get this, but we just got an Aston Martin OG prize right over here. I'm not sure if that's an OG skin, but it might be a UGC skin, guys. And you can see that there is still a chance, or there was a chance. You guys can see that the words are kind of scrambled up, but you guys were able to get the skulls around the map and once you guys collect it you guys are able to get the ugc but today guys we are here to go over the brand new ferrari the brand new ferroni t04 pro in here and see if it's worth it so first guys let's go ahead and check out these skulls right here look at the skulls around the map they look like tiki's instead of like skulls but let's go ahead and collect it you guys can see we just picked one up and you guys can see we got one out of 60 they're all over the map but i'm not sure if the ugc is still available but we did get it on the first run here's another one right over here i don't think there's any like specific spot for it guys but they're all over the map now let's go and check out this aston martin right over here let's check out the skin that we got for it you guys can see we go over here we go to wraps and it is a wrap oh my gosh it's a halloween wrap i don't know why they didn't do this on the halloween event but you guys can see that we got this cool spider web wrap on this aston martin victor right over here guys i think the cool part about it is is the spider webs but the fact that it came after halloween is kind of sad i thought it would be like one of the prizes there but this is pretty cool i think we got this because we completed the ugc the original run and now we got it forever it's not a it's not an og skin guys it's actually just a normal halloween skin all right now let's go ahead and check out this brand new ferrari guys everybody's been talking about this and it's seven million dollars the issue about this car is the regular ferroni guys you can see that it was only worth 5.4 million dollars now i don't want to say that this is any better but dang seven million dollars guys so the regular ferrari guys cost 800k so that is a big price jump right over there and you guys can see this is the t04 right over here and this is the t04 pro this is literally six million dollars more than the original one guys and today we're gonna go ahead and buy it to see what the hype is all about and just like that we got the brand new ferroni t04 or the t40 lm red guys look at this the only thing that i probably wanted on this brand new lm red guys is probably the graphics or the wrap that would have came with it and i'll show you guys in a second what i'm talking about but look at this Ooh, it's actually really nice it seems like the handling is like super good compared to the other one but we'll test that out here in a second guys but you can see that the acceleration actually pulls really, really good on this. Oh, and it can drift really nicely. Now I'm going to pull out the T04 in just a second, the regular one, so you guys can see what the difference are. So you guys can see right here, we got the Ferroni T04, and with fully upgraded, guys, you can see 
that it is 239 miles an hour but if we go ahead and take it back to the regular engine you guys can see it goes 198 miles an hour where the branded to 4 goes up to 222 miles an hour without any upgrade which is absolutely insane and this has a 7.9 handling where the new to 4 pro has an 8.4 handling so it is a bump on the handling guys a major bump and you can see the the prize is also a major bump and the biggest difference between these two are the look and the style of it as you guys can see this one right over here it kind of has a more subtle or kind of less of carbon around it you can see that there's no front splitter not much of a front splitter than the new one is and then you guys can see that there is no carbon fiber wing on this one and then you guys can see the biggest difference is on the engine there's only one crossbar instead of the 2x crossbar and you guys can see we still have the triple exhaust but we don't have the rear diffuser on this so basically a plain ferrari t40 right over here versus the brand new pro where you guys can see that there is literally carbon fiber almost everywhere on this car you can see that right above the tail light there's a carbon fiber strip going around you guys can see that they totally replace the wing with a carbon fiber wing kind of looks like they just set it on top of the original wing but they actually did it you guys can see that it is a single piece carbon fiber going down and attached to original wing you can see that the crossbar right here is going on an x instead of one just going across and you can see that the front splitter or the front lip is absolutely much larger than the previous one uh, when it comes to body work guys you can see that it's almost kind of the same exact body work but the only difference is this one just probably has less carbon fiber now i do want to upgrade this video and show you guys and see how fast it actually goes but let's go ahead and take this out to the circuit track and see if it's any better on the handling guys i want to i do want to test it out first i do want to take it to the highway race and see the full speed of this guys i want to see the top speed and you can see that the interior is literally similar to the original t40 right over here guys and we are keeping up with that veyron oh my gosh which is absolutely surprising and we're about to hit top speed right over here already oh yesco is down my boy he is down you guys can see that that veyron is kind of uh kind of struggling to keep on the road right now and these t40 is absolutely amazing it kind of almost reminds me of the enzo guys and you can see that amazing carbon fiber diffuser right in the bottom that looks so cool and you can see at full speed we're literally trying to get through this whole tunnel without hitting the walls and it's doing a perfect job do we just beat a veyron guys oh my god oh gosh he's right there in my booty come on go 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 no no <laughs> we almost got him well you guys can see at 222 miles per hour we absolutely crushed this race oh wait there's another lap okay i didn't know that all right here we go guys the best lap one minute and one second not bad at all that was a good warm-up i like the exhaust note on this it's a little bit different from the other one but i wish it was a little bit more aggressive but it does sound pretty nice it does sound like a v8 how it should be but now let's go to the circuit track guys and i want to see if the handling is really good and it seems like that this car can also drift guys it seems like it's a good drift car since it is a real wheel drive so we'll have to test that out in another video too all right here we go we got a regular t40 right there and a bleed Ooh, i want to see if i'm able to beat that bleed guys if i'm able to that would be a amazing buy this so so far guys it seems like it's an amazing buy for a supercar and you can see that the handling is actually super super good it doesn't seem too heavy and at the same time the handling at 8.5 kind of seems like it is an actual 8.5 the biggest thing with me is probably the acceleration guys it seems a little bit too slow it is better than the last t40 but at the same time if we upgrade this with the brand new turbo and upgraded engine guys I think this can honestly beat the Bolide. And that's always the question when it comes to these new supercars joining the game is can it beat the Bugatti Bolide with upgrades? But for $7 million, it seems like it is worth it so far. And I will post another video, guys, of me upgrading this fully. So you guys, if you want to see the full speed of this, be sure to tune in in another video guys and you can see the full top speed of this car and probably see the potential of it too so we're gonna go ahead and try to get the best lap we can in here and then after that guys on the next video try to compare it with its full upgrades but it is super smooth guys i'm not gonna lie to you it is super smooth i do want to put the race tire on there to make it a little bit better 
And you guys can see that we have the full potential of the 8.4 handling now. Oh, we just flipped over. What? We just flipped over. I have never, ever had something like that happen on a race before, guys. Especially with a supercar. I didn't even do anything like dramatic and I just flipped over. What? That is not good, guys. That is not good for the supercar at all. Here we go. This is the last lap, the hot lap, guys. And I want to see if I can do a little bit better on this last one. But that flip on the last lap, guys, was absolutely insane. I would not expect that at all from a Ferrari supercar. Here we go, guys. We're finishing up right here at 3 to 11.5. And the best lap at 36 seconds. Wow. This is a really good car. I'm not going to lie. It is a pretty cool car. It does look and sound a little bit better than this T40 right here. This one sounds a little bit louder but it doesn't sound like a V8. It kind of sounds a little bit rattly for some reason. And it's a little bit louder for some reason too. But it's not as best as this one. It seems like it has a little bit better handling. And it has a smoother tone to it. But that flip, guys, I don't know what we got to do with that. But that is it for today's video. And today, guys, we bought the brand new $7 million Ferrari T40 right here. And if you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did, be sure to smash that thumbs up button. Subscribe if you guys haven't. And don't forget to click that post notification bell. What do you guys think about this brand new Ferrari T40? Do you guys think it's worth $7 million or it's not? Leave it in the comments down below. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.